Hey guys, AB here from BH, and I want to talk to you music makers out there. As a fellow music producer, I know how it is when we fall victim to periods of stagnation, which is something that many artists experience during their career. Maintaining creativity at all times can be a major challenge. So here are eight quick tips to help keep you inspired while you continue your journey as a music producer. First things first, let's go back to basics and then make sure that your setup is ergonomic. There's nothing worse than having a haphazard workstation, from pieces of gear being out of reach to a cluttered desktop. Sometimes it takes moving just one or two items around you to improve your ergonomics. Also, your workflow within the computer should be one which lets you make music efficiently. Make sure that your folders and libraries are well organized and name everything clearly. In terms of physical comfort, how's that chair you're sitting in? I've been to so many people's apartments and houses where someone has a home studio set up with a really uncomfortable chair. If you're gonna be sitting for hours in front of gear and a computer screen, make sure you're sitting on a comfortable chair. Two, listen, listen, listen to lots of music, from new releases to old classics. To keep your ideas fresh, you need to have a good ear for how certain styles of music are made, and this in turn will help you shape your own sound. I know that it's sometimes tough to listen to what's on the radio, especially if you think it's mostly garbage, <laughs> but if your aim is to get more work and to be someone people can rely on for a variety of services, you'll need to be well-versed in what's current. Three, try reproducing a song you really love. It could be good practice to attempt to recreate a track from a producer you admire. While you may not always be able to get your version to sound identical, the journey you take will certainly challenge you to utilize your skills as a music producer and engineer. Also, many artists have the stems of their songs available for download, so take advantage of all those musical resources out there. Four, collaborate with others. We often feel like we can do everything ourselves, but the reality is that collaborating with another producer, musician, and or artist from time to time will allow you to learn someone else's techniques and style, which in turn will make you a more versatile producer. You may also end up forming a musical relationship, which allows you to concentrate on the tasks you really want to do and let someone else do what they're good at. Five, be true to yourself. As I mentioned, it's great to emulate producers you admire, but ultimately you need to find your own sound and be confident in your musical choices. Don't continually ask others for validation. While it can be valuable to get feedback or criticism on your work, being genuinely happy with your productions is the most important first step to cultivating your own unique sound. Six, learn a new instrument. Having the ability to play an instrument opens up a lot of production and songwriting possibilities. You won't be limited by strictly having to work with loops, for example, and you can operate as a one-man band when necessary. And by the way, if you already play an instrument, there's certainly no harm in picking up another. Seven, back up your files. I can't say this enough. In reality, you should have two backups. When I work on my MPC-X, for example, I save my productions to the internal SSD I installed and to an SD card, just for redundancy. Also, you should back your computer up, and I'm referring to the main hard drive and any additional drives you use to store content on. There are a few things worse than having a drive die on you and losing months, even a year's worth of data. Eight, own a great workhorse microphone. A solid go-to mic that can handle lots of duties is one of those things that any good music producer should own. There will come a time when you're gonna to wanna to track vocals or an instrument, even just for reference, and not having a mic would really be a bummer. If you have a limited budget, I'd recommend Shure's SM57, which is arguably the most versatile and famous workhorse mic out there. Not to mention, it only costs about $100. Well, thanks so much for checking out the video. If you have other tips that have helped you become a better music producer, please feel free to share them in the comments below. This is AB, and I'll see you next time.